Hi there haulers. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hopkins Universal 6 and 7 pole connector bracket. This bracket is constructed of steel so you can guarantee that it's going to securely mount your 6 or 7 way connector and it has a black powder coat finish on it that'll protect it against rust and corrosion so you can ensure that your bracket's going to stay mounted up and look good on your vehicle for a long time. When purchasing a 7-way, you just want to look at those because a lot of them don't come with a mounting solution with your 7-way connector either. If you're adding one to your vehicle, it's all often a forgotten item and then you got no way to put this on here. So if you follow along with us, we'll show you how to get this bracket installed and we're going to cover some additional features that makes this bracket a little bit easier to use than some of the competitors. So you're wiring up a 7-way on your truck and now you need a way to actually mount this thing because you don't want it hanging down just here below. This is a large connector. It's spring-loaded and we want an easy way to be able to pull this cover open and plug our connector in. Most of your aftermarket hitches don't come with any mounting solution, so you're not going to usually get that with your hitch. And most of your vehicles don't have any factory mounting solution at the back either, unless you had the full tow package, which would already likely have come with wiring and things like that. Now some hitches do come with a tab which allows you to mount a bracket, and this is the bracket we're going to be using for our 7-way here. But we also need a place for this bracket. And this is a long bracket here that we sell at e-trailer. This clamps around your hitch, but you have to look at some of your hitches. They do have that pre-welded on there where there'll be a small little bracket like this. And it's designed to line up with the holes here for mounting either a seven or four-way bracket. The outer holes are typically designed for your seven-way and that's what lines up with our bracket right here. Now, no hardware comes included with your bracket here, but if you get a long bracket, you will get hardware to mount your bracket up to the long bracket. You also don't get any hardware for mounting up your 7-way onto the bracket as well. So you will have to provide your own hardware. A lot of times when you get a 7-way, it comes with its own hardware. So we're going to be using the hardware that came with this 7-way. So we can now start installing our bracket. If you look, there's a slit in the bottom of this bracket. And this may or may not be useful in your setup. It just depends. You can use this to slide your wiring through. You can see how we can take our 7-way wiring here and we can just work it through the slit. This, what the purpose of this is, is so you don't have to disconnect your electrical connector from your 7-way when mounting it up. Now if you're trying to get it on here and you're really fighting and the slit's too skinny, you could disconnect it or rather than disconnecting and undoing the work you did, you can just bend the bracket just a little bit and that will allow you to slide your wiring in there and then we can just straighten it right back out. Just a little minor bend there is all that we needed and our bracket looks great, everything's still connected and now we can bring it up. Now if we look at our bracket real quick before we connect it, we can see that we've got multiple different holes here and they are slotted and the purpose of that is to allow it to work with just about every manufacturer seven way because the distance for your holes on your seven way are gonna vary from manufacturer to manufacturer but we can see here when we line it up that it lines up with those slots all the way around. So now we're just gonna use the hardware that came included with our long bracket to attach this up here and then we'll use the hardware that came with our 7-way to attach it there. So we put the bolts on top and then drop our bolts down through both the brackets and then we'll take the nuts on the bottom. These ones have star washers on them. You want the star washer facing towards the bracket. And then we'll snug these up. In most cases, you got a lot of tight clearances here. You can usually just hold the one and then snug it down with the other and that pressure keeps it from spinning and gets nice and tight. We're using a 3 8 socket for the hardware that came included with the long bracket. Now we'll just line up our seven way with the slots that work best to give us a nice level seven way. We'll then slide the hardware through. Again, this is the hardware that came included with our 7-way. If you need some, you can get some here at eTrailer or your local hardware store. Once you slide the hardware through there, we're going to follow that up with a flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. If you get hardware that has nylon locking nuts, you can omit the flat washer and lock washer. Then we can go back and tighten down our hardware. Now it is going to vary if you got your own hardware or what it comes with. If you're using the hardware that came with your Kurt 7-way, you use an 8mm on the nut and then just a Phillips to tighten it down. Now that our 7-way is fully mounted up, we're ready to plug it into our trailer and make sure everything's working properly. 
And that completes our look at Hopkins Universal 6 or 7 pole connector bracket.